I just don't want to put porn on my PlayStation bronze. That's that's why not, man. <laughs> because PlayStation is not for playing with your PP. <laughs> it is if you want. If you, it is if you want to try hard enough. <laughs> try hard PP PlayStation time. <laughs> I know people who use their PS3 for porn. PS3. Yeah, and That's PSP. Weird. Yeah, because they had a web browser. Oh, I, yeah, I knew people who used Oh, that. dude, tons I, of people had porn on my, the PSP. <laughs> my friend worked at GameStop when the Switch launched, mm -hmm. and he had hella people coming in, like, asking if the Switch had a browser, and this one guy had a 3DS, and, like, traded in the 3DS for a Switch, and then right after he bought the Switch, he asked if it had a browser, and my friend was like, no. Okay. So then he, like, left the store, and my friend had to wipe the 3DS. And he, the guy had a bunch of porn on it. <laughs> on so, the memory card. I haven't bought the DLC yet for this, so we'll, uh... This is hella loud. So it's hella loud? Yeah, this oh, is okay. hella loud. Uh, the TV is just hella loud. We're actually... On there, it's fine. Yeah. Welcome uh, to, uh... Oh. 60 Minute Access of, uh, the, Soul Calibur Six. There's something I've realized about every fighting game now, though. Oh, we're just I, doing this, like, right on the... Yeah. There's something I've realized about every fighting game now, though. What? They're actually ninety dollars, not sixty. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like I got that. Are, like you want to talk about shit that I had to fucking come to terms terms with? Because you were how is Tira not a part of the C DLC? She is. Oh, the season pass. I mean, yeah, she is. It's is season she? pass, or you can just buy the pack by itself. I buy, I buy them individually because just in case one character I don't want. That's oh, I get that. I guess. And it's like four dollars. My thing about it though is like sometimes I'll be like that, but a lot of the times with fighting games, especially, I just want every character for things like Fight Night. In, in my case, it just depends on the game. Like you can bet your fucking ass I'll go buy every character in Dragon Ball. Right. I'll buy every character for Smash. Again. Uh, oh yeah. Not yeah. a fighting game, but. But yeah, well, you and I were discussing uh, discussing uh, the fact that consoles are basically poor man's PCs at this point. Yeah, uh, I can spend like $250 and get a PS4. With a probably, less, probably less now. Eh, if you want a new, $250. Across yeah, but I mean like, the truly in general. Yeah, but uh, darkness, hey Mike Tyson, that's that 500 gig hard drive. They carefully yeah, that's like four games now. Existence. So that when later generations yeah, because after history, formatting, it's it like four. Welcome to the reason why I'm not. And even if I had a PC, I wouldn't play Red Dead Redemption Two on the PC. The, the, not a no, hundred fucking gig game on a PC. I don't give a shit if you, you got a terabyte, a two terabyte hard drive. Dude, it's still a big ass install. Dude, nah, I have multiple hundred gig games on my PC. Fuck that. I, Fuck that I, completely. I also have a two terabyte hard drive. No. No. See, I, but, I don't know. Okay, so here, I would use my PC for different things, though. Here, here's but one big difference with PC, though, this, is the fact the that, time. like, so install times are super fast. So yeah. So, like, installing GTA V, for example, on my PS4 is like, alright, this is gonna take an hour, I'm gonna go make a fucking sandwich. Versus, like, on my PC, it's like 15 minutes. A fitting end awaits all yeah, yeah, but I don't mind, I don't mind the, the, like... Something fucking the tiny ass wait time or like, okay like an hour of my day is like nothing to me anymore it seems like I only get so much time off from work every week but an hour is like a nap Legend says it was I don't nap anymore. An hour is like, oh, I nap. Oh, when you work at a factory, oh, you nap. So, so he, here's here's what's the thing with me. Like right now, I work sixty hour weeks. Right. So like any fucking hour in my day matters. Yeah, I kind of feel that, but also like. It's kind of like you can use your weekends when you okay when you work at a factory you're doing a lot of physical uh, labor so you never it, it, in much the same way that like sitting at a desk is exhausting because you're like kind of just there in that one spot your body's not getting a whole lot of activity mine is like the polar opposite problem where I'm getting too much activity and not enough time to like relax or. I, I, a big thing. So of, I will fucking nap. Yeah. A, a big thing for me is it's just like mentally taxing. So like. Oh yeah. Like, especially because I like, like people are like, well, why don't you ever come out and do shit and socialize? Because I talk to people age, right now for twelve hours a day every day. I, I want to come home like literally. I got off so early on world. Thursday yesterday, right. I and I came home and I sat in the dark in silence. Someday I end up spending. I, I end up spending more time uh, at work with coworkers that I have to be around than I do with like family and friends. I mean, I don't spend that much time with my family to begin with, but like, hey, for example, I. 
you ever see like on the weekends at this point and uh, it's for like anywhere from 4 to 12 hours of the weekend whereas like I spend like 36 to 48 hours with my coworkers fucking talking shit and dicking around so like while you do develop kind of a bond with these people at the same time you're like exhausted by being around people you don't necessarily want to go out of your way to hang out with or like yeah, people what? you wouldn't hang out with outside of work is this literally gonna give me any fights in this dude's story mode so we're uh we're five so minutes into this into this 60 thing. minute access of fucking menus We've barely touched uh okay yeah, barely bro. touched on the game this at is all, the, but... this is the story mode you get you have the general one and then you can go in and do like each character individually this the looks only, like bullshit the only character that i've done all the way through is Geralt. Yeah, because I always do the guest characters first. Yeah, uh, this looks like complete bullshit. Uh, this is a story mode, but you create your own character. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Can we create a character? Here, let me create a character. Uh, go, create, go, go create a character. Have fun. This is always the best part about Soul Calibur to me. It's not for the online right now, because they let you take created characters in the ranked. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Uh... Go oh, original character. And I'm not. Oh, I have to pick a class, I guess. Uh, you have to pick a like body type, like race. A body type. Uh, a race. Are I we guess doing? I say. What What should we do here? Let's do uh. Automation. Or automaton. That's That's gonna be here. Let's Let's just do a, a, a human. Do we want male or female, Bronson? Let's go female. Female. Let's go female. Alright. <laughs> um, this isn't gonna go well. It is not. I, uh, so weapon so, slash style. Uh, oh, okay, hold up, let's see. Do, do we have the DLC character listed in? Uh, yeah, we do. It's too hard. We're gonna do Tira. Yeah. Uh, Alright. So, uh, I like the red one. Actually, uh, I like Bifrost there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Alright, and then, uh. Ooh. Stained glass, that's cool. Uh, I want this one, the magic pack. And let's make it evil. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, let's go. Body. Uh, le Ooh, whoa. Alright. Sliders. I like that's how good. Just all the way to the right. That's, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> Everything all the way to the right. Just tidy your shoulders. Gigantic shoulders Just with tiny painful. wrists. <laughs> uh, pectorals, you say? Just big old boobies. No, that's not the boobies yet. Well, that's oh, that's okay. the that's the uh, the chest size. Yeah. Okay. But you gotta make the <laughs> no, max hips, buddy. Max hips. Yeah. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. What is this changing? Like bar barely anything. Uh, what about thighs? Uh, thick thighs save lives. Yeah, that one's no small. <laughs> But we need to... <laughs> We're creating a monster. <laughs> Got it. All right, stomach. Okay. Um, not. Nah, you know what? Let's, let's, let's make her. Let's make put it, her on the bigger side. Let's make it thick. Thick boy. Uh oh, there we go. Uh, that's what. Yeah. We're yeah. yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. Oh. I think that's a. There's a lot of character in this character. You yep. know what I mean? A lot of personality. <laughs> Gonna, are we doing? You know, we'll go as small as we can on this. Okay, one. that's that looks like this is starting to look max muscle definition. Let's do this. Yeah, honestly, it's bigger jacked. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, suddenly we've created a, uh, we've created a uh, uh, Kefla. But uh. All right, no, yeah, actually, uh, let's create Kefla. <laughs> uh, but no, the, the um, God, what was it? The, the, like, what I, is wrong with those biceps? They look tumorous. I so I what the, I want to discuss this because we we're talking about before the show. Uh, I came to the terms about a quarter of the way into the 360s life that oh I'm gonna have to either manage memory or buy a shit ton of memory. It is just like something I came to terms with real early during the 360. Is this thing just not gonna let me preview these faces at all? Uh, I think you just have to go on to it. You just have to click it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, woof. <laughs> oh, woof. Yes. <laughs> that was the correct choice. Alright, we'll stick with that. Uh, 
We'll stick with that. Uh, let's see. Let's give her... Um... Super Saiyan Blue there. No, I don't want it to be... I don't know. Yeah, no, it looks... Pink yeah, Afro. Do this one. Hold on, wait. Pink Afro. Uh, there we go. There we go. We're gonna change the color, though. Can you change the color? Yeah, I, I can't for sure. But. Eyebrows. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> there, there we, we go. go. That's the one. Got the, uh, the Ryu. Oh, the girl, the voice. Oh. Okay, let's get this started. Jesus Will you Christ. fight me? So you want to fight? Let's get this fight started. You look nice and tough. Elder sister. Are you ready? Care to dance with me? I actually like let's that. Let's get this over. You want to have some fun? You won't let me pass, huh? You wish to fight me? Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Now let's make it as deep as we can. Fucking stupid. Yeah. I honestly, I don't, I don't know what I'm changing here. Uh, the character's horns, none. You know. All right, uh, all right, go back. Uh, equip, uh, colors. I want to change the afro color real quick. Uh, oh, can I make her blue? Make color you want, baby. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, this is so fucking stupid. Oh my god. You knew this was going to be. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice uh, winter green. It's a nice winter green color. Um. What well, what color? Let's make the let's make the carpet match the skin. I. No, what? Why? <laughs> It looks like fucking broccoli. <laughs> it's like rotting broccoli too. I know, it's gross. Alright, we're good. There we go. Alright, she uh, looks diseased. So, Holy fuck. So Alright. Let's put a... Uh, oh, generate a red, though that can only create a winner. Let's see what happens. Uh, region of preference, western or eastern, what are we doing? We're west coast, baby. West coast, Motown family in back Modern. Uh, materials. Metallic. Metallic. Adornments. Extravagant. Yeah, why would you want to, uh, impression, let's go. Cute. Let's cute. go cute, yeah. Uh, but I have no, no, no preference. preference. And then, Generator random. Yeah, boy. Alright, that... Did nothing. Man, that's extravagant. <laughs> what is happening? I don't think I have a ton of stuff unlocked, so it doesn't. doesn't... Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. fuck it. Uh, I I don't understand the levelance hair accessory. Is this gonna give us anything with this afro? With this afro? Do it, kid mouth head. Oh, oh, that's why we, we have buy to buy shit. it Tekken style. So I need to play more. Um, I have not barely gotten to play, and all my time is going to Redhead. Alright. This is a good character to start with. Alright, we're good. Uh, enter name. Let's name, not Tessa. Let's name it, uh... Red. Glorbnack. Glorbnack. <laughs> let's say Jared. After my, uh... What was let's, yeah, let's name it Jared. <laughs> Alright. There you go, buddy. You're a character in, uh... That looks like Jared, right? Yeah, good enough. We should have just made Jared. <laughs> Alright, mock battle. Alright, let me see this. Me go ahead and do the mock battle. It's, uh... Then we'll go into arcade mode. With, with Jared? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know when I buy this game, I'm gonna make every single character, every single one of our friends as characters. I'm gonna get into the group chat and I'm gonna ask everybody who their favorite Soul Calibur character is. Ever or in this game? In this game. And then, uh. Probably Geralt. Alright, but you're the only one that gets to be Geralt. Like, that's my, that's my thing. Jared's kicking ass. This fucking moldy broccoli person that we created. 
<laughs> you, need to send a, <laughs> you need to send a screenshot of this to Bremen and make him draw that character as the cover of this episode. <laughs> I think I already started him on the cover art or else I would have. I'll draw this character and I'll just have him to add it into the, <laughs> into the cover. Okay. Alright, that was cool. Let's get into... Uh... Let's get into some uh, arcade mode with Jared here. I will, I will definitely save this and send it to Jared though. Good. Oh, good. We can add it to our favorites. I would say that's a favorite. We can share it on the network too. We can Jared on the network. Actually, hold on for creation. I want to see because uh, there's a thing where you could like go look at like the most like. Sure, sure. Look at that freak. <laughs> Somebody share Jared how you can. Sh yeah, all right. Someone's so gonna laugh. Someone's gonna see this and be like, "Why the fuck is it named Jared?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. All right, network. Uh, no, we wanna. We'll do arcade mode before we go get my ass handed to me online. This is a strong episode. This is a strong episode to start with. Uh, so, what, what is your history with Soul Calibur? Started with two. Yeah. Started with two. Um, favorite is four. Yeah. But uh, that's largely because that's the one I played the most of. But I had two on the GameCube because Link. Like most people. Yeah. Well, no. Like most people, I'm finding had to, had it on the Xbox for Spawn. Most people I knew had it on fucking GameCube. That's because it's the best version. With riches attracts more chaos um, than customers. But no, I love Soul Calibur. It's great. I think it has a great fighting system. I have that eight-way run is nice. Yeah. It's got a it's got a great fighting system. It it looks great. Uh, the characters are awesome. My favorite character on the on uh, four was Taki. Um, but everybody hated playing playing against Key Lake and I'm a So you had to live your dream. I had to live my dream, dude. Honestly. Remember I made, uh, like a very shitty Goku on, uh, Soul Calibur 4 out of Key Lake because he had the staff. Dude, you're fucking him up. With the same move. <laughs> I feel like I'm not playing competitively right now. Do you think people are going to play Geralt competitively? I have no idea, so... I, I, I always have enjoyed Soul Calibur. But it's not really, like, but it's a competitive game. Yeah, so. like, it's just... Like, I didn't... Like, it was always that thing, like, Oh, this, this game is a game where you can, like, mash and have fun. And like it has a, lo a very large amount of single player content, so if you're in the oh, Yeah, that, that was kind of always my thing about it. It was, my brothers and I played it a lot. In particular, uh, my brother Wyatt was pretty into this in Tekken, so. Yeah, like, I, 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 oh shit. Yeah, so like I, you know, like vertical and horizontal. You have vertical, horizontal, and then you have uh, block, special, and then you have block, uh, melee, like a kick, and then this game has this weird like clash mode type thing. Yeah, similar to Injustice. And I, then, I know a lot of people are really excited about the third party character for this being Geralt. Hi, Bronson. I guess we're just not silencing our phones. Ah, oh, sorry, it was in the other room. <laughs> oh. um, no, a lot of people are really excited about the third party character being Geralt, and I think it's cool. Yeah, like, I'm not um, I'm not super right into him, but, like, I'm more excited for the other guest character. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. To be, to be like, I saw that. I, I keep seeing this meme that's a very erroneous meme going around. Talking about how Nier and uh, The Witcher are the best gay RPG and Western RPG in the first console generation. I'm like, is that, is that for real? Because that's kind of sad. Um, I like The Witcher. I like Nier. I mean, The, the Witcher probably. Yeah, this is the platform you were talking about. I just don't think there's... I don't know. 
I mean, don't really stack up to previous generations in terms of like. I I think that The Witcher definitely is the best Western RPG. I don't think it's like. I don't I, think Nier's the best JRPG. I think Nier's a fucking. I don't really think of it as a JRPG. One, I don't think of it as a JRPG either. I think of it as an action RPG. Yeah. Like a Bloodborne or Dark Souls. Right. Um, in fact, I almost consider it like a mash of, of Dark Souls slash Bloodborne and a little Sonic Adventure, which a little bit of like. I was going to say, uh, Bandero. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, something about the game feels very Sonic Adventure to me. Uh, for me, it's, uh, a lot of it feels like, um... I think it's a cool character. I think it's a um, cool character to include in this series. Yeah, sorry. For me, it feels a lot like, uh, it reminds me a lot of, like, Platinum Game. Stuff. Yeah. Including the same dodge mechanic and the same, like... General, like, half naked and so on. Like, same style. Well. To me, like, uh, Nier is as much a JRPG as Kingdom Hearts is. And Kingdom Hearts, I don't really consider a JRPG. I consider Kingdom Hearts is closer. It's closer in terms of aesthetics, I guess, and the fact that. But I don't know, like. It... I don't know. Like, the fact that it has, really the fact that it has all the Final Fantasy shit in it. Yeah, but like... that to me isn't genre indicative of it being a JRPG, that's, again, another, like, action-adventure I, I think it's tone and the way the stats and things like that would make me think it's closer. It's yeah, I, I guess the skill set, too, yeah. makes it a little bit closer to... Versus, like, fucking Nier, which, like... It feels, it's an action-adventure game. Yeah. The with, Devil May Cry. Yeah, with, like, hella RPG elements. They should put, they should, they should put Dante in this or something. That'd be cool. He'd be really good for the series. They should They'd put him in Tekken. He'd they, be great for that. They like, should put fucking Kazuma Kiryu in, in Tekken, Tekken already. Not going to. Because Sega. Well, yeah. You, you know. You know the Tekken creator philosophy. Don't yeah. ask me. For shit. Right. Oh, that was bad. That was also bad. Falls in line with the Sakurai principle of never ask me for anything again. They went and put the character that, like, nobody except me wanted in Tekken, and then also Negan, which is a character nobody asked for. <laughs> yeah. Literally nobody asked for him, and I don't think anybody plays that. And then they put, uh... Who they put from that other, like, fighting series in? Oh, uh, uh, I'm forgetting his name. Yeah. And then they put Akuma, which only I asked for. Right. But everybody knew Akuma was going to be in there. Yeah, well, because... They, they were working on Captain Cross Street Fighter, and they were like, Hey, we don't want to do this anymore. Can we just have him as a kid? Yeah. just put him in there, yeah. Can we just put a dude in there? He's good in that, though. I don't know, I like Tekken 7 a lot. Yeah, that game's fun. I want to play more of it. It's, it, it, once again, most 3D fighters don't don't gel with you. Yeah, like, I like one enough to play competitively. That's dead or alive. I love Dead or Alive. Which, amongst most fighting game community, like, Dead or Alive is like the trash one. <laughs> yeah, but it's Tekken with waifus, and, uh, it's, it's, I'm and okay like, with that. super simplifying it, like, it's... That's the problem with Tekken I see is that, like, a lot of people don't like that one button, that each button controls a different limb for Tekken. I, I think... And, like, the combos get a little bit more complicated because of that. But... My, my problem is it just, it doesn't, like... I don't like the way it feels. Like, I get that. It's a little stiff. Like, like part of the reason I like, uh, I, I at least can enjoy Soul Calibur, even though I'm not super into it, is the fact that, like, it's really good. It's pretty fluid. I think, like, that's the thing about uh, Dead or Alive for me, that it's, like, it's the most fluid feeling 3D fighter. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that, that's, Tekken, that's... Tekken feels very stiff, and you have to know manuals to be good at that game. Like, yeah, that, that, that's part of why I... Part of the reason I, I love, like, Street Fighter and, um, and Dragon Ball so much and Persona 4 is, like, I'm, I'm all about that. So, fuck! God I damn. think Dragon Ball is really easy to, like, get into, and really and the, the learning curve isn't... I mean, I'm not good at it, but the learning curve isn't impossible, you know what I mean? Like... Once you start getting into manuals, it gets a lot harder, but by the time you're getting into manuals, you're already good enough at that game that, like, it's just the next step, you know what I mean? Whereas, I just learned my first manual, yeah, I can do semi consistent Right. Um, Whereas with Tekken, you have to know manuals. Yeah, like, you can't... I, there, aren't, there aren't really autos in Tekken. Not really, no. Uh, in DOA, there aren't either, but in DOA, like... It's easier. Yeah. It's easier. Like you said, it simplifies it. The manuals aren't, like... 
Well, it's rock, paper, scissors because like strike, like strike beats uh, grab, which beats block, and then like counter, which is a form of. Damn, this guy fucking up. Uh, All right, bro. Is that your name? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, bro? His character design is cool, but he's got a dumb name. <laughs> you could say that about a lot of Soul Calibur characters, though. Like Zasa Lamel. It's fucking baby speed. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, buddy. Um. Victory. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like that. I, 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 I always enjoyed Tekken. Like, I had friends who were really into Tekken, but, like, it was. It was just never the one where I was just like, I don't think this feels good. You know what? I, I was thinking about it. And Actually, I, you know what? That's very that, that also fits that fucking description. Is uh, Virtual Fighter. Yeah. What are we getting to? Never. Yeah, get fucked, boy. Nah, it's probably gonna happen eventually. This is like fighting games are coming back in a fashion. Evo was huge this year. Everybody I know except for us went to Evo. I'm spending like a hundred dollars for a fighting game because I'm buying every one of the fucking season pass. Yeah, well you need to at this point. Yeah. You need to. It's like you said, fighting games aren't sixty dollars anymore, they're ninety. Yeah, fucking Jesus. I'm about to fucking go in on Dragon Ball for the Switch. Just because uh I don't like not having it at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I wanna uh, be able to I wanna be able to play it and then like Smash isn't out until December. December seventh. Yeah. I, I my my adapter and controller arrived today, however, because they put them out a month before the fucking game for a random reason no huh. one understands. The cacophony of battle cuts through the death Getting an adapter oh, for that shit is gonna be impossible when the game comes well, out. Well, that's why I bought it now. <laughs> yeah. Might have to get in on that. You could use the Wii then. Can you? Yeah, you use the Wii U one. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be good though? Uh, well, I mean, I think that was a good track record with making the old shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious how the fuck we're gonna get eight people to play it though, because... I kind of adore, uh... Victory I kind of adore Tira in oh, this game. Oh, I love... I, Her yeah, new design is amazing. Yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah. But, uh... No, I, uh... I really, um... Oh, Jesus. Uh, but no, I really, um... I, I really, like, am wondering how we're gonna get eight people on that coach. Okay, four GameCube controllers. Yeah, we got, we got, we got one person on the Joy- the Joy-Con. Yeah. We got one person on the Pro. So can we use DS's as controllers again? Probably not. Um... I think you can- well, you can link- more than my Joy-Con to the system. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll work. So that'll you can work. have, because we did that for Puyo Puyo Tetris. That'll, have... that'll, that'll put us to seven. So. No, I mean, you could probably, what they'll probably end up doing is just having you have, like, a bunch of people with Joy-Cons attach it, or maybe more than one adapter. There's more than one USB. Yeah, okay. I would rather have two adapters and just have us all have the My thing about it has always been, like, if I'm playing Smash on the new system, I want to learn how to play it with the new controllers because you're never gonna, you're not always gonna have GameCube controllers. They have just made a bunch of new GameCube controllers. Man. But the thing about it is, every time a new Smash comes out, I go to someone's house and they're like, "I only have one GameCube controller," or "I only have two GameCube controllers," and there are always people that jump on it. So I always try to learn it on the controller native to the system, just so that I can jump uh, onto that. If my so like I I would learn it on the Pro controller. I'll put I'm putting it down. Uh, on that way, I don't have to be married to the idea of playing with the GameCube controller and not an Uh On the Wii U version, I actually really liked the fucking gamepad. Yeah, the gamepad wasn't bad. I liked playing it on the 3DS because I could bring my own controller. That was that was nice. I, I, especially because that was back when I used to like have a commute, so I had my 3DS in my bag already anyway most of the time. Right. That was kind of the best thing about last generation. Smash or Smash 4 or whatever is like Versus you could play it on the go and then you could play it at home and I don't have to bring an entire controller that I can only use when I'm at someone's house like I can just pop open the 3DS and play Smash. It's like I already have four GameCube controllers though so I need to do what I've ordered it in. No I mean and so, I get that. So it's like I have a pro so that's five. I have my own Joy-Con. Yeah. So that's six. 
I can bring uh, my Joy Cons, or you can separate the Joy Cons. Yeah, no one wants six and seven. No, Nobody's gonna. No one's gonna like. I, I like. Everyone's gonna want to do it, but I feel like again, like this is my thing. Like I like to learn the new Smash on the native controllers specifically. The, for the, that thi reason. the thing is, is like. Out of our crew, no one is gonna want to fucking. No, no, not like at all. That, that. Out of our crew, we're all just gonna have fucking switches anyway with with Smash on them. Yeah, just bring it. We bring our switches. Yeah, just bring the. There's the, your eight-player Smash right there. Yeah, but I, don't, I want us all to solve it on TV actually. So yeah, you probably could. Yeah, I'm sure they'll figure out some way to do it. Might be able to just link systems via the internet. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be kind of shitty. No, yeah, uh, well. We'll, we'll figure out a way to do it traditionally. I'm sure, well, so, you have a Joy-Con that we can link, and then Ray does, so that, that puts us to eight. That, that's eight. That, that's eight, so. And if they do the DS thing, then I have seven here. Yeah. So, like, Ray has three, or four. So, yeah. I have one. So, like, so yeah, if they do the DS thing, we have seven controllers, that means a lot of people need to bring you one. Yeah. So... I don't know how many people are buying adapters and shit. I know Anthony has one. I'm sure most people who buy the game are buying adapters. I'm like, most fun. people who buy this game also, aren't buying it the, to play by themselves. Also, I love how during their fucking Nintendo Direct the other day, they put out a thing that's like, hey, there's gonna be a LAN adapter. Okay, I didn't like her character design when I saw it, like, frozen like that, but I like it a lot more right now. Like, in motion. I just thought her face was kind of weird on the one thing, but now, now it's kind of like... Anyway, carry on. <laughs> um, so, no, I, I just enjoy uh, how... I love how during the Nintendo Direct they show the LAN adapter, so, like, it's a way to play the game via Ethernet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And they're like, hey, if you want to play it online, you should really get one of these. Yeah, they're like, don't trust our service. Don't, don't fucking leave this to Wi-Fi, please. I don't fucking blame them. What and was it? Brawl yeah. on Wi-Fi at launch was fucking... And then, like, 4 was okay, but not great. And then, like... But I just don't know... Okay. I don't know why you would want to play Smash the, via yeah, Wi-Fi. But... To, to me, again, it's, it's because well, it's a party. Well, yeah. It's, it's also because, like, it's... Like, that's just what people have their shit hooked up as. Like, hundreds of people play their Switch via Wi-Fi. Yeah, but and I get that I, for games like Splatoon. But but no, I've been, like, doing Dragon Ball Fighters, and, like, man, I see so many red bars. Like, people just yeah. on fucking red bar connection. It's just, it's just like... It's like, well, oh, but with Smash, Smash is the kind of game where I feel like we're all gonna, we're gonna play it, and we're gonna pick it up Everybody I know is going to be playing it for the first several months that it's out. Yeah, it's going to be at people's houses. But yeah, the, but, but there, the, there are people who play that game, and I'm going to put this in fucking quotes because you know how I feel. Oh, so we both feel the same competitively, way. Competitively, right? And want to practice, and they want to do that all fucking in the piece of their own fucking hole. And I don't know. I feel like you're missing out on a huge part of the experience if you're playing that game on Wi-Fi. Uh, I mean, yes, but like. But not everybody's I, like us. But yeah, I, I also... I feel like most people are when it comes to Smash, though. I don't know, like... I, I feel that, like, they're just the weirdo... The very large vocal minority. And that are fucking weirdos like Josh. Who are, like, Final Destination, no items. Competitive. Fox so, only. Fox only. <laughs> Victory will not yeah. Occasionally How do you feel about that Starlink game? I've been meaning to ask you about that. Kind of uh, waited for an episode. Uh... I'm not intending to buy it because we have bigger stuff to cover, but it looks cool. I, I think know. it's a neat idea for the toy battle, or for the toy, uh, that whole, like, toy interface thing. Whatever, yeah. like, the Amiibo slash Skylanders type mo business model. Although the Amiibos are better. Um, but I think Starlink's neat. I like the Switch, that the Switch version comes with a little Fox McCloud and an R-Wing. That thing looks cool. That, that is neat. Have you seen it? Yeah. The, the R-Wing in person? It looks nice. Fuck, I burned my meter for that. It would almost be worth it to get the game just for that R-Wing figure, but I, I know I'd never play the game, so I'm not going to buy it until I find it used. If I find it secondhand, I'll buy it. That game looks cool, it's just it like... We have this, and then Fist of the North Star, and then Yeah, that's, then... that's kind of my thing, is like, I'm never going to fucking... And, and then like, Red Dead is this fucking one million hour game, and then like... We got Smash and Hitman within the next month. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to fucking play the this Starling game. I literally exclusively want it for that R-Wing. 
<laughs> and, oh, and then on top of all that, we also have fucking pers the Persona dancing games. You know what would be cool, though? What? Is if they did Star Wars with this Starlink thing. What would be really cool? Is if they just... <laughs> if they just made a fucking Star Wars game people cared about. Right. Because, like, Battle... You know, people shit on Battlefront 2 a lot. It wasn't awful, but it was very much okay. It launched horribly. Yeah, like, at this, like... If you go to that... It's like MVC. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah. That game had probably one of the worst launches of I, this generation. I took that joke all the way. He bought it. He bought it, ladies I and gentlemen. I bought the Deluxe Edition. We should do a 60-minute access of the Deluxe Edition of Marvel vs. Capcom Yeah, Infinite. like, just be like... So we got all the DLC <laughs> now, because we did it when we it came out. We have every game, or we have everything for the game. Yeah, so because we, we did it when the game first came out. So, and, like, we played it, and, like, my consensus was I would rather just play Marvel 3. It has nothing to do with the gameplay. It has everything to do with the roster and the... Yeah. Like, and then, like, I was just like, half my favorites are missing. And, like, this gameplay is great. Like, the, the Infinity Stone stuff is cool. The, the Switch system is cool. But it's just, like, it's not... There's it's not, not what you want. It's not, like... Not, there's not enough showmanship, and if you're gonna do a hyper fighter game or a versus game, ha like a big part of that is like how Dude, that's, showy it is. That's entirely my thing about SNK Heroines. I honestly like we shit on that game constantly. I don't think it's awful. I think the system has potential. Mm -hmm. I think it's executed in such a way that it doesn't take itself seriously enough to be what it says it is. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the big problem there. I think Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has a similar problem where like it wants to be this, the next Marvel vs. Capcom. It wants to be the next Marvel. It wants to be the next like competitive fighter, and it doesn't take itself seriously enough in in the right places to make it well, viable. Well, like it like it put all its time and effort into being like the world's most like technical, interesting fighting game, and they made that. They didn't focus on any of the presentation bits. They also didn't uh, like, put any of the characters that anybody wanted in there, and like, they were too held up by the movies yeah. to like be anything special. This is taking forever. Hey. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, okay you should change your character name to Jared. Are you just going to fight with Jared? I love this character. <laughs> I, love I am it. not, because I want to actually do well, but... <laughs> that No, but, like, uh, that's actually one of the big problems with Ranked in this right now. Is You know what, if we have extra time, we should actually try to, like, make Ray. <laughs> we should actually try to make Ray like, realistically. <laughs> oh, hold on. That was weird. Opponent found! Oh, connect. Connecting to your opponent. Wow. Give him the hands. Like the sword. Yeah, I don't know, like, this is such a strong year for, for fighting games. Right. Even, like, Tekken came out last year, and even Tekken is doing but great. Been, yeah, it's been getting a ton of support. Street Street Fighter. Street Fighter got its Season 3. What the fuck am I fighting? Yeah, okay, so this is another case of custom characters can be used in the, um... I'm used, excited. Used in the ranks, and, and reach for the problem with garbage. this... This is because of hitboxes and things oh. of that nature. It causes problems. Why do people think that stuff like this looks good? Oh, oh. Yeah, that's that's garbage. I can already see this guy being complete garbage. I would love this game on like fight nights for the custom characters alone. But that would take forever. It would also everybody would have to make their guy. It would also like. You'd have to, like, bring your custom characters to the fight night with you. That's what they should do. They should have an option where, like, you, you can download your friend's characters. No, I think they do. do uh, it. but... Victory will not what is that nonsense he was doing? But, uh, no, there's also, like... But, like... No, I don't know. Anyway, like, what I was saying about, uh... Uh... This being a strong year for fighting games was that it's this year for fighting games is amazing. Oh yeah, it was great. And and the few fighting games that I kind of like wanted to be, you know, really really good, end up being either incredible or meh. Um, such as SNK Heroines was very meh, but Dragon Ball Fighters is gonna be our game of the year. I do not doubt that at this point. Yeah, everybody plays it. 
Oh, fuck. Uh, like, the, the, the only person who doesn't play it on staff are, like, Tori and Dylan. Um, and, like... plays? Well, I mean, he doesn't play Tori anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, he doesn't really play anything about anything, so it's like... You know, but, like, the thing is, is, like, you... you like, I don't see Spider-Man doing it just because of you and I, and then, like... As much I gotta as, play Spider-Man. I as gotta as, borrow that from as, Yeah, as, and, like, as much as I like God of War, I don't see it as, like... I gotta play that, too. Uh, yeah, it's, it's at your house. Yeah, I gotta get a hold of that. I just gotta find a time. The funny thing about it is, like, I live with Ray, and I still see Ray about as much as I did before I lived with him. Because you're opposite schedules. It's because we're opposite schedules, but it's also because, like, Ray occupies his time constantly. Yeah. Like, he, he, he always complains about how he never has enough free time. It's like, you could just say no to going to hang out. Right, yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, like he, makes, he makes all these plans in advance with all these different people, and then is like... I don't have the time anymore, buddy. And I'm like, I'm just like, you could just go. like, yeah, like he's you don't, he's not like obligated to do anything. That's like, uh, at risk of like getting too personal, I guess. Like, he took like a bit of a sabbatical from social media for a day. Yeah. And everybody was like, where the fuck did Ray go? And I'm like, leave him alone. Like, <laughs> he just wants to chill. Like, well, so like uh, the thing that because uh, like. He's like, because I remember, because so, I, I'm getting on everyone's asses about Game of the Year prep. Yeah, you gotta. Because it's a month and a half away, so it's like, fucking start playing shit, people, right. if you haven't yet. Um, you know, which is why I'm loaning you Spider-Man, I've loaned Ray, God of War, and you guys can swap when you're done. Um, yeah, well, I think he's, he's already, already, yeah, so, already beaten Spider-Man. So yeah, he can give you over God of War, and then like, by that time I'll be done with Red Dead, I can hand you guys off Red Dead, he can hand me Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so... But Meanwhile, I'm uh, playing through Dead Cells and Celeste, because I'm sure those are... I mean, Dead Cells is a lot of fun, but I don't think anybody's going to I don't be. think... Yeah. Anybody's, and nobody's going to talk about this game except me. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to talk about this game, but I, I, I do I, have to say, like... I'm going to hop on that Celeste train with you, buddy, though. I'm yeah, gonna, Celeste... Uh, yeah, like... You Bronson know, and I are going to be the only people voting for Celeste, it's, but... It'll be like last year, where Tori and I were like, guys, night in the woods. Have you played Dead Cells? Yeah, absolutely. Have you played a lot of Dead Cells? Not a whole lot. I think of it as, like, it's comparable to Dark Souls for platformers in terms of, like, the way that the game is played. Oh. Except that it, it except that, so, like, in Dark Souls, you kind of, like, you die and then you have to start over and it's a, yeah, really it's, a it's, game of, of, like, getting better as you go. Kind of like Celeste, I guess, but, like, with, with Dead Cells, it's very combat heavy, but the levels change. Every single time you uh, die. Well, it's 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 a it's a roguelike. It's like rogue legacy or like yeah. like other roguelike. Yeah, yeah. But it's done in like this Metroidvania style that I really I really like. So I don't know. Dead Cells is a lot of fun. I think people should play it. Uh, I don't know that it's gonna make my list of game of the year, but yeah, because like it's gonna be like an honorable mention. Yeah, because like sure. Cause, like Ray's just like I've only I only, I only like six games I played. I'm like. So fucking play more, like play more video games. He always play. He's always playing games. It's just like whenever he's at home, he's always playing games. It's just like just... my thing is like we played a lot of games on this on this show. Yeah. But a lot of the games we play, I'm like, ah, oh, that was fun for an hour. Can't oh. see myself like staying on for more than an hour at a time, uh, except for like Spider Man and Dragon Ball and yeah. uh, some of the other ones. I also like wasn't a part of the God of War episode at all. Um, um, we actually didn't. Um, not, that was actually we just ended up using recording from Stephanie and I. Oh yeah, yeah. we didn't make an episode. Yeah. We could make an episode. Yeah, that game. Uh, especially because we got a new game plus fairly recently. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could just do it. Yeah. I haven't played Red Dead. I have no desire to play Red Dead. Uh, but... That's a fucking shame because I actually think you would really dig it. I mean, yeah, I probably would. I, okay, right. the install time is not the main reason why I just don't want to play this game. It's like, the first Red Dead was cool, but it's not a world I feel like I have a desperate need to, like, return to right away. Uh, so it's kind of me, for me, it's more of like a, like, you know, when I get the time, when I feel like I, I don't have a whole lot going on. Yeah, because, like, let me, let me tell you, this is, like, one of the, like, most impressive fucking like clockwork worlds I've ever seen in a game. Like, like you legit like at times it reminds me. Wow. Uh, 
Wow. <laughs> Good job. Uh, at times, it does remind me of, like, the world itself, like, reminds me of Breath of the Wild and, like, all the insane shit they're doing. See, and I, I like, I like a lot of the, uh, a lot of what I've seen of it. I just, I don't know that I would get that invested right now. You know what I mean? Um, to me, like, an open world game like that requires, like, a really good world. That's what I didn't really care for with Horizon Zero Dawn was, like, the world to me didn't stand out at all. At all. Not a single part of me was compelled to, like, explore that world or want to learn more about whatever lore they were building or anything. It was so generic. I was like, I don't know. But, like, but like, like you were saying with Breath of the Wild or... Or for me, I know for you it's different, but for me, like, Final Fantasy XV, like, 90% of the game for me was, like, running around in the world and, like, learning more about this, like, weird, Fuck. pseudo, like, modern, modern, uh, for slash fantasy type thing that they, that they had going on that was really compelling. But then, like, Horizon Zero Dawn, it was like, oh, here's another sandbox game, look, here's some cool creatures, but the world is nothing, you know. But I, I, I don't know. I could see Red Dead being kind of breathtaking. I was looking at a lot of the screenshots you were sharing. Uh, Bronson, whenever a game comes out, he gets really good about uh, sharing everything. Well, I, I just take a lot of fun. I, 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 I like taking screenshots. That's, that's... Motherfucker. God damn it. Get fucked, boy! Yeah, buddy! Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Fucking winning on that note! Yeah. <laughs> have you uh, have you seen Geralt in uh, the Netflix series? I, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw it. It looks okay. I, I hope that show. I hope that show is good. It looks like they're going for a... Uh, I, don't, I haven't read any of the books. I don't know anything about Witcher lore. I know the game. Uh, the third one. I'm currently reading the first book. I know the third game. Okay. I know The Witcher Three. That's the one that everybody knows. Yeah. Uh, that. Yeah. Like I've played two. I like two a lot. Three. I was like not like. I don't know. Dimitri uh, is a huge fan of the third uh, game. Yeah. A no, huge yeah, fan of the third game. A lot of people are. A lot of people really like the third game. Um, I think it's okay. Fair enough. I think it's good. It's a good game. When I say. I, when I say something's okay, I don't mean like, I don't mean like, eh, could be better. I mean like, it's an experience I had that I didn't hate. Fair enough. I didn't like go through that game and like just feel fucking. I'm, I'm like. Like I was dying the whole time. I'm like gonna save that. I, I need to save that replay. Do you ever feel like game companies would like bolster their like online numbers with like bots? You know what I mean? Like, no, I, I, I that's, that's far too much work. I don't know. Like, all you'd have to do is like, there, there are too many games that go dead for me to believe that. That's fair. Like, I uh, game conspiracy. <laughs> I've thought about that before. I'm like, is this a real person that I'm playing against? But like, I guess it would have to be, huh? Yeah, like that. Just that's kind of the problem with, like, okay, like. I was talking to someone about this, and I was like, there's literally never going to be an Overwatch 2. Yeah. Because that game gets too much play. Yeah. Like World of Warcraft. Yeah. I know each expansion is kind of like a quote-unquote sequel so, like, in terms of the story. It's very much a reset. Like, yeah. They, like, they... In terms of the lore, it's like it's like the next chapter like, or like, whatever. But... Th this current expansion is like the least a reset they've had in such a long time. Yeah. Not for uh, story, but for mechanics. Like, right, they, but they're, they, they're never gonna do that with Overwatch. Yeah, they can't. I mean, they they cha they've changed Overwatch a lot. But uh, that but not they, in terms of the mechanics, though. Just like in terms of like balancing and stuff. And then like adding and, new adding new heroes, maps, and modes. Yeah, but that that kind of goes without saying. Yeah. I think like the new but, heroes, maps, and modes is a different thing. But like I think I think I think what an Overwatch sequel would be would be a lot of heroes, maps, and modes. Probably yeah. Like but that, I feel that's... like you'd have to you'd have to change the mechanics to make it worth making a sequel. Yeah, and, and at the end, like part of why over like Overwatch's mechanics are so fucking good. And, like right, you don't polished. you don't want to touch them. You're like I don't want to 
like if the yeah. game works yeah and the game's only two years old too like the, the game wor- it gets weird that it's only two years old yeah. it feels like it's always been there yeah it's it's one of the because it's every- in ready player one like all over the place like if you watch ready player one like tracers in that movie like every five minutes it seems yeah ever everyone i like everyone i know has either played that game or currently plays that game right Right. Um, like the uh, I was just thinking about that the other day. I forgot who I was talking. Well, it's to like about the same it, thing but... with like Here's the Storm or League or any of those big fucking online, online temples. Yeah, Fortnite. Well, I could see there being like a Fortnite too, though. I feel like that's the kind of game there where if it dies, because that game's gonna die. It's right. not gonna be the biggest game ever. Forever. Forever, yeah. Something else is going to come along and people are going to... That's the difference between a game like Fortnite and a game like Overwatch. The reason why people play Fortnite is because it's free, I yep. think, and the gameplay mechanics are well done. Ver- versus, for, uh, yeah, versus Overwatch, which is... It's 30 bucks, I think. It's 30 at minimum if you want, like... The, to the base game. The If you want just, like, the bigger, fully fleshed out one with skins and shit, 60. Yeah. Which is fine. I would pay. I would pay sixty for a game like Overwatch that you're gonna play for years. And yeah, years. I I bought that game at launch and was like, and I bought the like fucking big. Yeah. Like I didn't buy the one with the statue, but I bought the big ass version. I was very pleased. <laughs> but that is again, that's the kind of game. That's the kind of game we need more of. But that is gonna be kind of like, Ramza. Are you kidding me? Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, All right. Well, they fight like Raphael. So you, you did your best. Oh. You made your be- the best ROMs that you could. Maybe they made themselves. Maybe. They just named themselves after the character from Final Fantasy Tactics. That's fine. Um, I was actually watching Maximilian stream this game, and he found himself in the character finder. That's pretty funny. That's what they That's pretty funny. Um, but no, uh, I don't know. Like That's the game that's like really hard to do that like doesn't really happen a whole lot but that we need a lot more of is a game like Overwatch that people are going to play for years and years. I don't even play Overwatch. I don't like shooters, but I I would say that there's plenty of that game that you could find to like if you don't Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. I I just it's less that I don't play it and more that I just haven't played a lot of it. You know, like I would play it, but big competitive games like that are difficult for me to like really get invested in because then I either spend all of my time on it or I let myself not play it along it. Like Dragon Ball, I fucking adore that game. I, I like it already sold me on the fact that it was a Dragon Ball fighter from Arxis Works, which is like two big things that I love. But beyond that, like it's uh, it's. I mean, we've talked to death about how much we I, love like. Game, I know that is gonna be like. Like, I could see Red Dead potentially jumping ahead for me, but, like, like I'm pretty sure that's locked in as my number one game of this year. Well, we played more of that than literally anything. Like, every time we every time we hang out, we talk about Dragon Ball for, like, at least an hour of our conversation. Yeah, well, I just, And that, that's a game I haven't had that experience with I, I in a while. I haven't had a fighting game like that since, uh, since Vanilla Street Fighter 4. Kicked your ass, bro. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, Vanilla Street Fighter 4 was the last time I was, like, going into training mode for a fighting game and being, like... The last time I really liked a fighting game like this was, like, PS2. No, it was, like, I was probably Dead or Alive 4. It was the one on the Xbox 360, right? Yeah. Well, probably was... Dead or Alive 4. Um, and even then, I wasn't disinvested in, like, learning the mechanics or anything, so... I don't know, like, Dragon Ball's great, but the problem with a game like that where you can play it over and over and it gets really competitive and you can get really invested in the scene is that, like, I tend not to be very, uh, I don't like, I don't, I tend not to spend a lot of time on, on, on video games, and when I do, it's a game that I'm playing for the first time or that, like, you know, that I get a lot out of. Like, in terms of, like... That's why most of the games I play are JRPGs. Because I feel like I get a lot more out of that experience than I do, like, a regular competitive game. Um, a, yeah, see, like... Uh, for, for, it's, like, not a game that I feel like I need friends to play. For, for me, it's, like, I'm naturally a very competitive person. Right. Probably the only person I know more so is Ray. Oh, yeah. And I feel like a lot of Ray being competitive is trolling. Yeah. Um, but I, I get what you mean. I'm a very competitive person too, I just also 
like with Dragon Ball, I don't like just being on, on, at home and playing online. Like, I, I like having friends there and I like that interaction. Whereas, like, with, like, a JRPG... Damn, I got ring direct. With a JRPG, I'll fire up that game and I will get sucked in so fucking bad that, like, time will pass and I'll have to go to work and I'll have not slept for a day. That, that, uh, that, see, it takes a very special kind of single player experience to do that for me. It's yeah, like, it's like, literally only, it, it's like JRPGs and like Saints Row 4. For, for me, it takes like, like Red Dead was doing that oh, this Batman. week. week like, like the, there are very few games that do that for me, but there are the, there are definitely ones that do it. Yeah. Uh, versus, um, like multiplayer games, like, especially <laughs> if you get like one person with me. I will fucking go for ever. Oh yeah, I could see that too. And, and I get why. I understand why people get like that with uh, multiplayer experiences. I just feel like, uh... Who won that? Was that him? Um... No, I mean like, I don't know. Like, I could see why people get into the competitive scenes a lot. Uh, but like I said, like, I'm, I'm not as big a fan of the online multiplayer stuff as I am, like, being in person and playing. Like, I, if I'm playing Halo, I'm not gonna play it online. I just won't. I know that, like, uh, Halo was a big thing for Xbox Live and it kind of, like, helped launch the platform. But, for me, the most fun I've ever had in Halo is, like, in a room full of people, we're all playing and we're all screaming and shouting and getting invested in it and like the, 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 that, that to me is a much more fun experience than like the, like when you have two systems system, or three systems that i was about to say the only time i really dig halo uh for uh local multiplayer is either co-op or um it's either co-op or uh or System Link? Or System Link, because, uh, one, I fucking hate Spoon Link when it comes to shooters. Uh, and... I don't mind it. The only thing I hate about it is, like, when people start, like, freaking out, and they're like, oh, you're screen-looking, and I'm like, yeah, but we're all on the same screen. It's, like, impossible not to just, like, yeah. glance over every now and then. And then, not, not only that, but, like, it's... It's just, like... I, I'm gonna be talking a lot of shit here, but, like... I am... Way better at Halo, especially two through Reach, than ninety percent of the people I know. Well, you probably played a lot more than most people. Because you know. I was, I, I made money playing that game. Now. Right. So like. So fucking hit Bronson up if you want to fucking throw down on some Halo. Uh, not anymore. Not I, anymore. I, I actually did log into the Master Chief Collection after the, the revamp. We should, we should have a Halo night. Uh. Uh, I've I've been dying to play Halo 2. I have been fucking dying to play specifically Halo 2 for goddamn no reason other than pure nostalgia. I love dude. If you want to? Ray and I used to play Halo 2 like every day. I am garbage and, like, at Halo. And, like, would, we need to get Yumi, Ray, and Dimitri. Because Dimitri also used to play like super competitively at Halo. I, I suppose, yeah, supposedly. Dimitri is really good. According to Roy, he's fucking stupid good at that game. So. Oh, Dimitri? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Dimitri fucked fuck Roy up. Fucked him up. I was there. Um, yeah, Dimitri was. Dimitri solid. Uh, so I would love to get. Yeah, we need to have a Halo party. We need to have a Halo party. Because I've been dying to play. I mean, specifically two, but I'll play any of them. I've just been jumping uh, well, for some... So, uh, so, Ray has Game Pass and the Master Chief, so that means he has the Master Chief Collection. Dimitri have, has the I, Master Chief Collection. I have it, and Dimitri has the next Master Chief Collection. I'm pretty so, sure he has the Master... Yeah, I, well, I would be surprised if he didn't. And I think he has Game Pass anyway. So, like, I mean, you know... Let's just have a, a LAN party. Play some, uh, play some Halo. Get together at Ray's house. Yeah, I'd be down. We have enough TVs at Ray's house. Yeah, especially after his new monitor purchase. Yeah. I'm buying it over. Are you? Yeah. Good uh, shit, good shit. Because I need a monitor that has DVI because I want to be able to hook it to the monitor and the TV at the same time. Yeah. That's been a big, uh, it's been a big fucking annoyance with Shrek Week. Yeah, I bet. Uh, <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, um, we should definitely play, uh, we should definitely play some Halo sometime. Um. That looks like our episode. Oh, wait, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk so, about this game at all, because if you've played a Soul Calibur, it kind of looks like... 
it's a soul caliber. The the two new mechanics with the like one button finisher, like Tekken style, is cool. Though like landing it is really fucking hard. Uh, I like that. If you're playing anyone who's halfway decent, because you can just block it. I like that. And uh, I hate. That's what's cool about like a lot of the DLC fighters for Dragon Ball is like mm-hmm. their their uh, their finishers or their ults are really good, mm-hmm. but they're harder to land. Cooler fucking sucks because of that. Like I hate his ult. Hate his it. ult's really good. I know it's really good, but I hate trying to land it. I, I hate it. I. I I find it super easy to land because I use it defensively. I'm Bronson. I find it easy. <laughs> no, I uh, no, I I'm just not very good at Dragon Ball. <laughs> just um, need to. I need to play more. I need to play more. Robert this and I like, are uh, practicing tomorrow, three, four o'clock. What am I doing tomorrow? I have a tea party tomorrow night, but I could come over before then. Okay. Or you guys could come over to raise. We're we're coming here. Going, so, going here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, before that, I could come over and play. Yeah, I'd be down. Uh, yeah, I really like this game. It's just one of my things where, like, I'm very like I treat Soul Calibur very casually. I can see that. And like, a, this is yeah, it's, it's fine. It's it fun. looks yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna buy it. And and Soul Calibur, like you said, is one of those one of those things where I find myself in a lot of fighting games. It's hard for me to want to play like single player. I, I, um, this is a game where I don't I, have problems I, with it. I definitely feel like I could have waited for the game of year, the like super mega edition of this. Yeah, but like, yeah. I'm a big fan of the of the series, so yeah, like, this is another fighting game to add to my. Right now, my PS4 collection isn't big, mm-hmm. but it's 90% fighting games. I have the, I have, Monster Hunter World, Final Fantasy 15, Type Zero. And Sonic Mania, and the Kingdom Hearts Collection, and then everything else is fighting games. Um, yeah, no, this game's cool. I'd recommend it if you like 3D fighters, Soul Calibur. It's it's really easy to pick up and play. It's a lot of fun. It's just that, uh, you know, I'm out with 2B. Yeah, I don't know why she wasn't on it at launch. Probably because they wanted to save it for like to get people hype on that season pass. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's just like how... they need more. I think what they, what I liked about Soul Calibur before, like on the older systems was kind of something that a lot of people hated about it which was like you bought one si- you bought the game for one system and you got this character that the other get- systems didn't have mm-hmm. like link on the gamecube fucking spawn on the except 3 Xbox. which was only on the ps2 for some reason 3 was only on the ps2 and then 4 was when they did the Star Wars characters, and mm-hmm. they started releasing all of the characters across platforms. God, that so game came out it. ten years ago. What four? Yeah, because that was like one of my first ever game reviews. Was like Soul Calibur Four. It's a good game. So I didn't yeah, play. I liked it. Like I didn't really play five a whole lot. I didn't, I didn't like. I the, didn't like five. I didn't like that Ezio or uh, uh, Altair. My was uh, the fucking. My ex girlfriend loved five. She was a big fan. My little brother loved it. Um, um, this looks like a good game, though. It looks like a yeah. It, it's it, if like if you are if you have not played this in a while, like you played one and two or like three and like want to come back. Good point. If you're like new to the series, great, great point. Because like I reviewed five and like my opinion on five, like the review, it's like, it's, who's this for? <laughs> what? The, like five. It yeah. just seems like it, it, like not really for Soul Calibur fans, not really for new players. Yeah, it, well, not only that, it's just like it just felt like more of the same. It's just like I like I came into the room being like, they haven't changed anything since three. It's a maybe added a few characters and Altair's years in it. Yeah, like I don't know who this is for. Like I don't like this. When did that game come out? Like twenty third, no, twenty eleven. Like yeah, like 20, it was PS three. Yeah, like it was like it was like PS three three sixty. Like I was like, why the fuck would you play the like this instead of DOA? The only 5 thing I could see you wanting to play it for is the character creation is cool on that one, but it's not it's not any better than fours. And, and like I'm not super big on that mode anyway, so it's like whatever for me. That's kind of the. For me, that's like one of the bigger sells for games like this. Like that's what makes the the single player like feel like it's worth playing. Is like, yeah, the the, is, the 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 Libra of the soul create an original character. And you'll experience Legend of the Sword from a different soul perspective. See, and that's super cool. I love that. That's one of the things I loved about Xenoverse. I I just actually really hate it when like I just want to play like a fucking competitive fighting game at like a fight night, for example, and people are like. 
Let's lose our use our custom characters with these weird hitboxes and shit. I would like, make it. I would make it a rule that we just, can't. It, it's either everybody's playing custom characters or nobody is. Yeah. And if you're playing custom characters, it's like a joke match. Yeah, like because it's because like you because they can't balance for like every possible because like no there like someone made this like unbelievably top tier character and it was just a giant rainbow cube because it's because <laughs> he can hit you from almost anywhere on the screen. That's stupid. Yeah. Uh, That's uh, dumb. So, yeah, uh, we'll be back next week with uh, Fist of the North Star, Lost Paradise. We're going to fist fist you right in the North Star. Yeah, we are, baby. We're going to fist you in the South Star. Yeah, we are, baby. <laughs> all right. Bye, y'all. Follow us on the social medias at the Gamer Access across all platforms. Yep. Bye. Bye.